the honey badger, also known as the honey badger or honey badger. Scientific name Malever capensis. Is a mammal belonging to the mustelidae family? Along with weasels, weasels and other badgers. Honey badgers are medium-sized, with a body length of about 55 to 77 cm and a tail length of about 17 to 30 centimeters. Their weight usually ranges from 5 to 16 kilogram. Depending on gender and living area, honey badgers have smooth, short and soft fur, ranging in color from gray to dark brown. A distinctive feature is a white or light colored stripe running along the back from head to tail, creating a striking striped pattern. The honey badger's head is triangular, with a pointed nose and small ears. Their eyes are usually black and appear very sharp. Honey badgers have powerful claws and sharp nails, which help them dig burrows and hunt. The honey badger's tail can be used as a support organ when it moves and hunts. Honey badgers are an African animal, and they are found throughout all areas of the continent. Their distribution includes countries such as South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Zambia, Namibia, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and many other countries in Africa. Additionally, there are some reports of honey badgers in some parts of Asia, including China and India. Honey badgers have the ability to adapt to many different living environments. They can be found in grassland areas, scrub forest deserts, and even at considerable altitudes above sea level. They prefer habitats with enough soil, cover to provide cover and burrows to build nests. Their burrow systems are often located in holes in the ground or rock crevices. Honey badgers are primarily predators. They chase and hunt small animals, such as rodents, rabbits, small antelopes, birds, and even snakes. In particular, honey badgers are also capable of hunting larger prey, including even animals larger than themselves, such as water pigs and crocodiles. Honey badgers usually hunt during active periods, in the evening and early morning. They can roam large areas in search of food and protect their territory. They are capable of eating entire prey, including skin, bones, and fur. This makes them a species with the ability to digest very well and take full advantage of nutrients from food. Honey badgers are famous for their aggressive and fearless personality. They can attack prey larger than themselves, including dangerous opponents such as venomous snakes. Honey badgers have the ability to fight poisonous prey, such as cobras, by fighting them and even biting them on the head to destroy their opponents. They can also take on larger opponents, such as gazelles and even lions, when they feel threatened. The aggressive personality and self-defense habits of badgers help them survive in harsh and competitive habitats. This is one of the unique characteristics that makes honey badgers a very remarkable animal. In the wildlife world, honey badgers typically live independent lives, not closely associated with other members of the species. They can move over large areas, to search for food and protect their territory. Honey badgers often build earth and burrows, 
or use existing burrows to nest and protect their offspring. Case can be located in safe areas, such as underground holes, rock crevices, or dug holes. Badger breeding time varies by geographical region, but usually takes place during the dry season when food sources are easier. A badger brood may consist of a female and adult females from previous breeding seasons. After giving birth, female honey badgers take care of their babies independently. The young are usually placed in the nest and cared for by the mother, but they can become independent and hunt for themselves when old enough to sustain themselves. The honey badger's gestation period lasts about six months. After pregnancy, the mother gives birth to one, two, four children, but usually two children. The young are intensively cared for by their mother, but they soon become independent and capable of taking care of themselves. Badger mothers often provide food and protect their young from dangers and threats. Honey badger chicks quickly learn to hunt and protect themselves. They also begin to engage in hunting activities and forage for themselves when they are quite young. Honey badgers can help control the population of small animals, such as rodents, rabbits and snakes in the areas where they live by hunting effectively. This can help maintain balance in the ecosystem. Honey badgers often build burrows and dens to live in, which can create safe areas for themselves and other animals. If badger populations increase too much, they can put great pressure on the animals they prey on potentially leading to reduced incentives for these species to reproduce. Due to their aggressive personality and strong hunting ability, honey badgers can compete with other animals, especially in sharing food sources and living space. If badgers nest in areas of grass and shrubs, they can impact the vegetative landscape and may affect the grass and shrub species in that area. However, honey badger's aggressiveness and ability to compete with other species can also have negative consequences, impacting local animals and plants, as well as creating fierce competition for food sources. And living space can create pressure on the ecosystem. Although badgers have positive and negative effects, they are an integral part of the wildlife community. An overview of the life, reproduction, and behavior of honey badgers is a profound insight into how this animal interacts with its surroundings and creates multidimensional effects in natural ecosystems. Their flexibility and adaptability help them survive in a variety of habitats, from shrublands to mangroves. At the same time, honey badgers also bring wonder and learning about the diversity of the natural world.